Hi, this slide is just a, a summary slide of gross margin dollar per activity cost unit for you to benchmark within your own business. Um, if we had a $2 item we were selling and we had a 50% margin in it, so we have a dollar of margin dollar, but we have a cost per pick of $11. That sounds like enormous a lot, but actually when people do cost to serve models, and realize they have the warehouse to do picks, and so they allocate a lot of costs fairly to picking stuff. They're shocked to find out that the number is as high as it as as it actually is. Um, if we had a hundred dollar gross margin in in an invoice, um, and uh, we said, well, okay, we have twenty dollars of 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 GNA cost per invoice, forty dollars of paperwork cost per invoice, forty dollars to pick, pack, and ship. Um, then we had to add rep, rep comp on top of it, you know, we start to realize how we lose money. Uh, or if we unbundled the service model and said, uh, use a credit card or cash, come down and pick it up, you know, that sort of changes the model. Uh, so what you want to do is, is, is start thinking in terms of margin dollar per activity cost. Um, and when it comes to supporting outside sales rep, to have a, a relationship with a rep where I know the rep, like the rep, and trust the rep is here to help build my bottom line in some way, uh, that rep's going to have to call on me maybe once a month or more often. But if, uh, if the cost per sales call is $100, and for most reps it's actually higher, then how much margin dollar would you like per month to support one call per month? So you can start to back into a a minimum size an account very quickly has to be to support outside sales coverage today. Otherwise, we need to allocate or delegate uh, smaller customers to a different service model division. Um, and uh, the key here, of course, is the share of customer is the way that we boost all factors. So if I'm getting $20,000 from a customer and I can get 40000 and in that I can I can tune it so I have more uh, higher fill rates, so I get more margin per pick. I have more items I'm selling them, so I get more line items or more margin dollar per paperwork stop of the truck, and I get more margin dollars annually for the sales rep cost coverage. This is all good stuff. And only, of course, as we get more share of customer in, in a given niche, we get more share of the customer niche, and it's the volume that all the customers in the niche give us that drives uh, better turns on the critical mass of one-stop shopping assortment of items that that niche particularly, you know, likes to, to, to buy. Um, and having highest one-stop shop uh, local fill rates is foundational to basic service brilliance for, for customers. So that's uh, just another way of looking at, at uh, the, the, the profit drivers in your business. Thank you.